Hey everybody, I'm in the middle of working on my garami tank right now and I'm cleaning out the filter. I thought I would take a few minutes to talk about the biofiltration. I'm thinking about changing up the way I've got my biofiltration set up in this tank and we will discuss that briefly. But I do also want to talk about what I'm thinking about changing and that is my little pot scrubbies here. I've got most of my canister filters have these in them. When I first started fish keeping, uh, what I learned was that you should always mix up your biomedia in your filters. I'm not really sure why that is. I guess it can't hurt. But I've always had a mixture of the ceramic rings, the bio balls, and I usually throw in a bunch of these pot scrubbies. And I was thinking about just pulling them out since I have extra bio balls and I've got extra ceramic rings back there. May as well use the real stuff instead of this piece of plastic, right? You know, every time I've talked about using these, I always get somebody that gives me grief for using some, you know, cheap stuff. Why don't I just go spend the money and buy the real things and so on and so forth. But as I've been standing here thinking about it, at the end of the day, how, how is this any different than that? This is a piece of plastic that's got a lot of surface area, and this is a piece of plastic that has, in my opinion, a lot less surface area, but still it's designed for the purpose of just having surface area and allowing water to flow through it, and that gives you your biomedia. So how, again, is that any different than that? It's just a piece of plastic that allows water to flow through it. I know it was manufactured for a different purpose. It's marketed for different reasons. But it's just a piece of plastic with lots of surface area. So I don't really think I'm going to take them out of my filter. Whenever you switch your biomedia around like that, you wind up having uh, issues in your tank with cloudy water and that kind of sort of thing. Go see my 125 playlist if you don't know what I'm talking about already. Uh, my personal opinion, however, is that the ceramic rings are the best way you can go. They don't look like they have a lot of surface area, but they are actually microporous. And they have a lot of surface area, tremendous amount of surface area on the bio ball, I mean the ceramic rings. The bio balls, I, again, I just, you know... They serve their purpose. If you want to go out and spend your money and buy them, it's your money. You can spend it however you want. But if you got a budget and you're tight, hit the dollar store, get a six-pack or ten-pack or whatever these come in for a dollar, and they serve their purpose quite well. And I've been using this one here. It's come out of this filter. I've been using it for years. Uh, the only time I've ever had any problem with these was when it was in the filter that the UV light deteriorated all of the interior plastic. And when these were exposed to the UV light, these did break down uh, fairly rapidly. So as long as you don't expose them to the UV in your canister filter, then you should get years and years out of a very, very low budget way of getting some biofiltration. So I don't think I'm actually going to change over the filtration when I'm in this tank. I'm dealing with enough stuff right now and I don't want to have to worry about my cloudy tank. I know it would clear up over a few days and it wouldn't be much of an issue, but for now, just not interested in it. I'm just going to go ahead, do a normal filter change, put everything back the way it was, and we can worry about, you know, utilizing them somewhere else down the road. So there you go, everybody. A little quick tip for the day, super duper budget way of getting yourself some serious uh, biomedia. You can even put that, you know, just stuff one of these in the back of your hang on the back filter if for some reason you feel like you need extra biofiltration in your little hang on the back filter. And then, of course, they go nicely in these trays when you've got any kind of canister filter. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. See you real soon in the next one.